Hello, I'm Seeks97 and today I'm going to show you how to use XSplit, which is a live broadcasting software, how to use that to live stream on a Google Plus Hangout. So let's get started. So the things you'll need are first a Google Plus account, and that's automatically attached to you when you have a Google account, a Gmail account, or go onto YouTube, it usually automatically gives you one. And next thing you need is XSplit, you can get that off from XSplit.com. Uh, first you have to sign up and then you can either buy it or you can download a beta version, a free version, which has like a watermark on it. But pretty much that's the only difference between that and the paid one. So get that and then we can get started in live streaming to Google Plus Hangout. So the first thing we need to do is set up our XSplit, so I've had this set up from my last tutorial. So with the screen selected and the watermark. Um, but the two things that we need for this to work is first go to general settings, then go to general, and it says enable virtual camera output, make sure that's checked. Now what this does is puts our XSplit, so this video, onto its own virtual webcam because Google Hangout works by putting a webcam as the video. So we want to like sort of divert this video to a, web, a virtual webcam which we can use in Google Plus Hangout. And also with these webcam things, virtual webcams, as like normal webcams are, they mirror the video. So what we need to do is to make this inverted. So try and understand this. We need to invert this on here. So then when it goes through the work virtual webcam, it will invert it again, which means it will be the right way because originally it was the wrong way, if you get that. But anyway, we have to invert it. So we need to, for each thing on here, we need to right click it in this list, go to position 3D and which says Y put that to minus 180 and I see it's flipped so we do the same for the watermark as well so everything is back to front so when this goes through the webcam virtual webcam on Google Plus Hangout it will flip it back the right way so that's our XSplit setup now if you watch my Justin TV Twitch TV one you saw me set up like a channel here we don't need to set up any channels because again it's going through the webcam not going through any sort of server or anything so now we're going to do the last big step of this which is starting the hangout and setting up the video so we need to click start hangout on the main page of Google Plus and this window should open let's wait for it to load um, and then once it's loaded the video would have already been set up for my last time testing it, but I'll just go through it anyway. So it's loaded. Uh, first, you need to give it a name. So, test. And then, enable Hangouts and Air means it goes to your YouTube channel, but I'm not going to do that. And then, we make sure these two are on. And then, on the settings, we need to put video as XSplit Broadcaster. Microphone as whatever microphone you have. So, I'm going to use Geotech. So, the one I'm recording with right now. And then this is the one that play that's going to be played back when you ha um, put it on. And then once you've done that, save settings, click Hangout, and that's going to be live for people to join when you invite them. So if you click this, it will show a big view of the video. And as you can see, it's good quality. It's probably not good quality because of recording, but it's okay quality. Um, and everything's the right way because it was fl it's been flipped back to the right way because of a virtual webcam and that's how you live stream onto a Google Plus Hangout with XSplit. Thanks for watching this tutorial by me, this is going to be the last one of these two XSplit ones um, and then tomorrow I'll have the Wirecast versions on. If you like this episode please like the video, if you've got any more questions put them in the comment section below and please subscribe to my channel because that really supports me much. And a few things that I don't really say in tutorials but yeah the first thing is going to be about my mods I'm got, I've got loads of new mods coming out uh, so I think recently I've had the fusion creatures one out so soon I'll be having loads more and then I'll have this mod collection one which has all my mods put into one for compatibility as well as releases for non mod loader so if you know about minecraft you don't need to, you need mod loader for most mods well, I'll be having a download where you don't need mod loader um, and yeah so that was just a little advertisement there and yeah thanks for watch